Hey everyone, thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you are new, welcome. I am Elise. If you are not new, as always, thank you for supporting your girl. This video, a little bit different than what I normally post, but I felt like I was doing y'all a disservice. <laughs> now, let me explain what I mean by that is that there are a lot of changes going on in my life that I have recorded and some of you that have been watching my channel throughout this entire time may be a little confused <laughs> with maybe some things that have been changing or some things that I haven't done, some things that just did not go according to plan and I kind of feel like I'm not the only person that goes through this. And so if anybody can relate to what I'm about to say, if you have gone through this, if you are in a very similar situation, I would appreciate you commenting down below and telling me your story. And it just kind of helps me figure out that I'm really not alone in feeling this way. Now, this isn't a depressing video. <laughs> I just, ah, this is not what this is. This is just real life, man. This is, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be 100% honest. It's just real, okay? That's just what it is. This is why I am struggling currently every day every month and i have been struggling for the past what year is it two and a half years yeah two and a half years it's been a struggle for me i've been struggling with trying to pretty much find my place in the world if you want to call it or just trying to figure out what it is that i'm either meant to do what it is that i want to do what are things that I enjoy doing? What can I do to feel to feel fulfilled in my life? Uh, two and a half years ago, if you know my background, you know my story, then you kind of know what kind of happened two and a half years ago. I separated from the Air Force. Now, I am by no means saying that I am not blessed. When I came out, I had a job. There are numerous veterans that leave and don't have that opportunity. Not only did I have a job, I had an okay paying job <laughs> when I first got out. And I am I am so grateful for that. I ha I did I, I'm just very grateful that I decided to take the, the steps to position myself in the way that I am kind of now or even in that year that I separated. Uh, if you have been in the military, then I think you understand exactly what I mean when it is a shock, when you are transitioning to be a civilian and being out in the civilian world, it is a shock. It is a shock to anybody's system. Even though I was ready to leave the military, I wasn't ready and I wasn't truly prepared for what was going to happen to me in the civilian world. You may have noticed that I was like, I don't know what I wanna do. I wanna try this job. I wanna try this job. I wanna go this route. I wanna go this route. And I was just kind of just saying things out there thinking that it was what I wanted to do when in reality, I have zero clue what the heck I want to do with my life. Okay, we just gonna say that right now. We just gonna say that right now. I am in a position where in my job and my experience has been in networking. I got out of uh, the military doing networking and I continue to do networking. Now that I have to do that, no, I didn't. I chose it to do it because honestly I was scared. <laughs> I was scared that oh, I didn't really have any other skills. So I kind of fell on what I already knew. I had kids. I needed, you know, I needed to pay my bills. I had to feed my kids. I had to feed me, feed my family. So I had to do what I what needed to be done. And so I continued on my path to get better at the, the already kind of professional skills that I had. And it was all I knew. I just didn't know how different it would be being out here. 
and the freedom that I now have to choose the path that I want to go in the military I didn't have that my entire career was mapped out for me my entire job was mapped out for me you are to do a b and c and then you go home come back and do a b and c again you get told what to do you get told exactly how to do it that was my entire life for eight years my entire adult life for eight years and i didn't necessarily have a choice in what i wanted to do and that's okay i'm not mad at that uh but coming out no one's telling me what to do nobody's telling me how to do it nobody is showing me how to get from point a to point b i am just on my own and even though i'm not on my own i have my fiance but here's the thing <laughs> my fiance is retired air force too we got out the same time essentially <laughs> so we're both kind of in the same situation he is in a much different situation than i am um and so his experience is not the same as what i'm going through he had 20 years of experience i don't baby so when i got out as i started learning i stopped i, I started to kind of come to the understanding that i don't think i'm really good at my job or i wouldn't even say the understanding how would i say it like i, I have constantly just been in this um stagnant zone where i don't know if i want to be in networking anymore i don't know if i want to continue on the path of networking period whether that's network security network automation network anything i don't know if i even want to be in the tech field anymore there is just so much that i don't know about and so i've been kind of struggling and i'm gonna be honest so if and from here on out and this is why i'm saying it, is because previously i said that i wanted to do this i wanted to do that and and then i just never did it so it kind of sucks i'm trying not to say that i'm gonna do something and then tell y'all about it and then not do it um but at that moment in time that's what i want to do i'm just asking that if y'all are on this ride with me pretty much me trying to find myself figure out what it is that i i want to do then you guys will be also on this ride when i go through my in <laughs> when i go through my uh volatile movements throughout this entire path this is not just me documenting my life and my professional career but i'm also documenting my transition yes i've been out for two and a half years but i feel as though i'm still stuck in that transition from the military to the civilian life and that's just being honest i feel like i'm just hitting a brick wall like i'm just this is me this is a wall and i'm like here and then i'm like oh i'm gonna make a left and then the brick wall like moves <laughs> it's just not it's not working out for me now there isn't anything that i feel as though i'm necessarily good at there are skills out there that people excel in and exceed at there is there hasn't been anything i have tried numerous things for extended lengths of time there hasn't there isn't anything that i have found that i exceed at or that comes easy to me i don't have that if i want to do something i have to work really hard to do it because i'm just not blessed like some people are and i'm just and that's just i i, I am very self-aware okay and i know that about myself and because i have to work so hard i also know that i am a lazy individual <laughs> And if anything requires a lot of work, honey, <laughs> I'm going to try to figure out a way to not do it as, as do the work or I'm going to try to make it as easy as possible because I'm lazy. And that's just honest truth. Honest truth. You are going to see because I have recorded uh, a lot of videos lately. I just haven't really posted. You're going to see um, different videos in the sense of am I pursuing the network security route? Am I pursuing maybe the network engineering route specialty? Am I pursuing maybe another area in tech? And where I could be possibly pursuing another avenue. I don't know. Um, but I just want to prepare y'all. And I just want to just kind of explain myself. 
and kind of explain my emotions and kind of what's going on with my internal struggle um, before I post all these videos. I just want to keep y'all informed because, you know, um, you are going along this ride with me. And that's the truth. You're me and you. I may be in the front seat driving, but at least you in the back. You ain't touching the, the radio, though. You ain't doing that. Mm -mm. I, I'm doing that. That was corny. Cut that out. <laughs> and I don't feel as fulfilled in my life just yet. I don't feel as though I'm, I'm going, the, taking the right path. And let me just say, in my job, I'm kind of at this crossroad where do I continue to try and educate myself or pursue education and training to increase my knowledge and experience in my current field, even though it may not be what I want to do? Or do I choose to take a different path and maybe try and focus my attention on a potential avenue that I don't know if I'm gonna enjoy taking. I know where I'm at, I'm kind of stagnant. I'm in a place where I'm neither, I'm in a place where I'm neither trying to grow and I'm not trying to go back either. And that's not a good place to be in. And I've been in this place for a while. And it's also because I feel as though the military uh, experience that I had in there in the job did not prepare me for what is out here in I'm gonna say real life <laughs> and so I, I run into a lot of situations and I've ran past tense to and current there are a lot of situations where I have been um, questioned or um, you know involved in where I get the feeling that people should uh people think or assume that i should know x y and z because of my years in the military working in the field when i really don't you know and it's it's very different with how they deal with tech in the military and in the government than they deal with sometimes in the private sector it's something different that i am running in i'm kind of getting water hosed in in the face <laughs> and you know i don't know if i like that i feel i don't want to say imposter syndrome that's not what i'm i feel as though i feel i just feel like i'm just inadequate i think that would be the best word I don't feel as though I am where I should be, or I wouldn't even say should. I don't feel as though I am where I'm supposed to be. And because I feel that way, I haven't taken any necessary steps to stop feeling that way. So I am in limbo. I am struggling to try to figure out what it is that I wanna do, who I am really and things that I enjoy. There isn't something that I necessarily enjoy or something that I should say brings me joy or something that I actually like doing besides eating and sleeping, those two things. I love. I just, just wanted to just put this video out there. I do not have it all together. I won't, I don't know if I ever will have it all together but you're gonna see it i'm gonna be going from here to here and you're gonna be like what happened i thought she was doing this now she's doing this <laughs> what's that what is it <laughs> you in my business mm -mm, don't do that <laughs> don't do that don't ask questions i'm gonna direct you to this video <laughs> yeah that's all i want to say Bye.